I am currently on week number six of an elimination diet that I've been doing. It's by far the most intense elimination diet I've ever done. My, I've mentioned before here about my journey with Candida and you know, Candida is something that has been in my life pretty much since I was born and it's been manifested in my body in different types of way. If you know, know anything about Candida, know that Candida manifestations can take different forms inside our body as well as outside, as you may see on the spots that I still have. Um, and you know, this is something that also comes from my family lineage, who's also been dealing with these fungus for the longest time. And it's just been a very wild ride for me. I didn't get candida as much when I lived in Peru and since moving to the States, it just became something way more present in my body. And this elimination diet that I'm about to finish, it's a six week elimination diet, um, has really been such a teacher for me. It's also been very intense. It's also been a lot of things. I haven't shared so much about Candida because I feel that at the end of the day, our health and our diet decisions that we, that we choose to eat is so personal. And I would never want to be, you know, someone who is seen as using their platform on the internet to promote one specific type of way of eating or one diet, because I think that at the end of the day, whatever we choose to eat has so many, um, is so personal and has so many variables to take into consideration from where we live, the income that we have, the accessibility we have to food, as well as to different type of knowledge of what's going on with our health and with our body. And it's just this very big topic, but long story short with Candida and just with my personal ethos in life. I, you know, I've tried vegan for three years. I tried vegetarian for a bunch of other years. And within this moment, I got very big flare ups of Candida and I tried the Candida diet for six months doing it at first vegan. Then I realized I couldn't sustain it. I shifted to vegetarian. Then I did, I finished the Candida diet pescatarian and I've been pescatarian for, I don't know, maybe the past five years. And Candida, especially last year, really flared up in my body. And I have for pretty much two years been seeing testimonials of people sharing about these very specific elimination diet that has helped bring their Candida levels to zero or cure from them or, you know, so many different stories along the way. And I've been trying to give this elimination diet a try for two years, but it's been a very difficult decision. One that I couldn't really at first emotionally try because it's this elimination diet that I am about to finish doing consists of only eating red meat, only ruminant animal red meat, salt, water, and in some cases eggs. That's it, like not even, literally not even pepper, nothing else for six weeks. And some people have been doing it for years. And it's a whole story on all the different symptoms that people have been able to heal from this. Um, but it really took me a long time to say, all right, I'm doing this, I'm committing not only because emotionally it was such a big topic for me, but also rationally. And I I just had so many feelings going on around them. And, you know, within these weeks of doing this elimination diet, a lot of my skin candida has been healing very much. There's parts of in my body where I don't only have spots like I do on my chest, but where Candida has pretty much overtaken and in some parts it even looks like Candida is pretty much eating my skin and I feel I may not be ready to share images of that even though I've been taking, you know, photographs and videos of the whole process of seeing how my skin is healing and hopefully my inner body is healing as well. And, you know, with dealing with Candida for so long, it hasn't only been 
candida living in my stomach and in my skin, but it's also affected other areas like giving me leaky gut or giving me rosacea and all other stuff that is just growing up a lot. And I just share all of this because it was such an important decision for me to take at this moment to learn how to self forgive myself. Um, I never thought I would be eating meat again, but it's been such a learning experience to choose my health um, and put it first in a very, for the first time in a very long time in my life. And it was also, and I think it will always be a very important part of my journey because when we decided to jump into doing these elimination diet, it's like, all right, if we're going to be eating red meat, then what is the most sustainable way of doing? And that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to share this. I feel at the end of the day, it's not about one way of eating, one diet is best than another, but it's also how we are approaching it. Um, you know, there's people that are homestead and grow their own food and um, maybe hunt animals that are in a lot of big quantities like deer or elk. And the way that we did this diet was eating meat from elk and we got in contact with a local farm here in the Hudson Valley and we've been visiting the farm. We've met the animals at the farm. We've seen not only how they live, but it's been such an intense personal journey to see them and to look at them in the eyes and really know all the sacrifice that is coming for me to be able to come back to health. And, you know, my journey with Candida is not over. It's, um, I think it would be pretty naive to think that something that has been with me almost 33 years of my life can be fully healed within six weeks. But this is the amount of time that I'm doing this elimination diet. And within this time, it's brought so much. I actually could make a whole video out of this, but I don't want to bore everyone that is here for my art with that. So I will start to get a very big blog post um, where I share all things Candida because it's very extensive. It's not only diet, it's emotional diet, what is nourishing my eyes and my skin and how much rest am I getting, how much am I stressing myself. It has a lot to do with also um, carrying stuff from the family lineage and how am I healing that area, how am I healing so many things. So even the soaps that you use or the type of water you're drinking or the water you're showering with. So at some point I will share a very extensive blog post hopefully with the pictures of the whole journey. The only part that you can actually see how things are changing are my skin, even though there's so much going on um, within my intestines and within my gut, which is the same, and my stomach and other parts of my body. But, you know, it's been such a journey. And within this six weeks, I've got a lot of clarity of what my next steps are. Um, after this, I will be reintroducing only candida friendly foods to my diet and then I will start working with an Ayurvedic doctor um, and see if Ayurveda would be the way to continue in this path. It's not that this six weeks failed, they actually have healed a lot. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting some exams done, some, some lab exams, some lab work done, as well as start working with this Ayurvedic doctor. I'm doing family constellations. I've been sleeping way more. I've been taking time off work to really just bring stress levels down and focus on what feels good. And, you know, I feel that the main reason why I share this is I feel sometimes online we may see um, very dogmatic um, and very like, this is the best diet in the world, everyone should eat, eat it. Um, speeches when I feel that at the end of the day there are so many circumstances that come to place. I think that there are terrible ways in the ones animals are treated in slaughterhouses and you know, buying the cheapest meat at the supermarket. But then again, that is what a lot of folks can only afford because that's the way our system is so broken in so many ways. And, you know, I've grown up eating a lot of that. And 
we cannot always afford the organic we cannot always afford the what we're doing which is such a you know such a beautiful privilege we got of going to the farm meeting the owners of the farm meeting the animals seeing what it actually means to be um, committing to eating meat within the time of doing this elimination diet and I feel there's just so much and what I wanted to share is that that I feel that forgiveness has been one of the biggest topics for me within these last few months pretty much since I started thinking okay this is something that will change within my life and something that I may need to give a try or I will choose to give a try because I'm seeing a lot of uh, positive testimonial from other people and thinking that you know if there's health reasons, there's income reasons, there's where we live reasons. There's so many uh, things that come into consideration on the way that we're eating. And I think that the best thing that we can do for ourselves, for our planet, for the world is to really tune in and, you know, get lab work if possible, get your blood test, see what is actually going on with you. And also knowing what feeds us and nourishes us us, me, is not necessarily what nourishes other people and I think that coming to acceptance of those differences and coming to acceptance of this is what makes me feel the best, this is what makes my body the strongest, the healthiest, feeling more radiant and great and full of energy, then maybe that is the way to do it and I think that within any sort of diet that we choose, we can always um, see what is the best that we can do with our income possibilities, with our knowledge possibilities. And yeah, I think that sometimes the internet can be a very unforgivable or unforgiving space for these types of conversations. I know this may uh, rattle some people's feathers and that's okay because it rattled all my feathers and it took me two years to finally take the decision to do this when probably I should have done it earlier because I kept damaging myself while you know feeding candida which pretty much feeds of every type of sugar carbohydrates fruit um, nightshade veggies etc I have been making candida bigger and thus hurting other parts of my body the most so it is a long journey, it's one that I haven't ended yet, but it's one that I am for the first time in my life feeling very empowered with. For years I was just like, oh my god, I need to do another candida diet, this will never leave, and very um, just like feeling in a loop. And finally I feel clarity, I feel empowered, I feel that my health can be in my hands in a slow journey and I'm being patient. I'm being patient and I'm being positive and I'm doing so much research. And you know, if you deal with Candida yourself, even within the people that have Candida, every journey is so different, but I will still commit to making these long ass <laughs> blog posts, sharing all the things I've tried and what seems to work the best for me so far. It's been a very long journey, so it will definitely be a very long post, but I wanted to share that because, um, you know, I've never been one to share a lot of recipes online because of the same reason, I feel that I would never want to say this way of eating is better than the other, when it's actually this way of eating is best for me right now in the circumstances that I am. Um, so I just wanted to share a little update on that.